metal shavings. The biggest nemesis of any machine. You can see in the bucket, we've already dumped one bucket out, but I'm going to take you over today. And we're going to talk about preventative maintenance on this horizontal bandsaw. Come on over. So if you just look at this thing, you can see that it has metal shavings all over it. It happens when you use this machine. We're cutting metal on it all day long. It produces metal shavings. Now all that stuff in the bucket came out of this trough here. The saw comes down, cuts the metal, the shavings fall down in the trough. That's fine. But we have to empty that once in a while. This machine should never look like this. It just hasn't been touched in a long time. It hasn't been maintenance, nor has it had any preventative maintenance done in a long time. And the difference being between the two, when we're maintenance things, we're going to find all the grease circs, we're going to check the adjustments, we're going to check adjustments on the blades, on the guards, we're going to make sure the pivot points are all tight, all the components are on it, and all the guards are, are on and in functioning order the way they need to be. But today we're just talking about preventative maintenance, and the biggest thing with that is to keep this machine clean. This side of the machine where the cutting happens isn't as important. As I said, the metal falls down, the metal shavings fall down. But what is important is the other side of the machine. So over here, we have a trough that is full of metal shavings. And the cool thing about this saw that makes it an awesome saw is it's a cold saw. So we have fluid, cutting fluid, that comes down and keeps this blade cool. It's, that's what allows the blade to cut stainless steel real well. It's a cold saw, makes the blades last way longer. They're nicer cuts. You don't have dust, you don't have sparks, any of that stuff. They're a wet saw. So it's very important that we know that this is the pump. It's very simple. It just sits down in there, pumps the coolant through the line, comes through the machine and comes out this line right onto our blade. But when the machine is this dirty, when it looks this bad in here, and we've already drained the cutting fluid out because we knew we were going to do this video, and that's what comes out of there. Now this is the type of stuff that will burn pumps out, and that requires research, finding the pump, talking to the company, ordering what's usually a pretty expensive pump. So preventative maintenance on this thing is keeping it clean. Now if you see these holes, these are the intake holes and half of them are clogged off. So I'm going to come in with a brush and I'm going to make sure that we clean these intake holes off. Now this pump is a submergible pump. It's designed to sit in fluid and we know it's going to get some metal shavings in it. But if you just keep running it and running it and running it and you don't check it, you're going to get these metal shavings to clog this pump off. And if it starts sucking them into the pump too much, it'll junk the pump out. So we've cleaned this trough off pretty good. Again, it's going to get some shavings in it, so you don't have to make it spick and span. And we're going to set that pump right down in there. That's how it sits. So the other side of the trough catches the metal shavings. This side of the trough sits in fluid. And what I have here is a water-soluble cutting fluid. It's biodegradable. It's not dangerous in any way. And I fill this thing up with cutting fluid. We need to make sure we have cutting fluid. The blades will not last. They are very expensive. Not real bad to change, but what you don't want to do when you come in here to do your work is work on a machine all the time. And we can save ourselves all of everybody's time by keeping this machine clean. There is a couple of things to do to actually maintenance the machine, but there's a few things we can do to keep that maintenance to a minimum. And one of them is called keeping it clean. Keep these metal shavings out of here. Now, when we clean the pump out and we fill it up with fluid, then we need to check to make sure that that pump is working. And if you come right down in here and watch this, I'm going to turn it on from the other side and we can get some fluid flowing out of it.
Sometimes you gotta let it sit for a minute for it to prime up. But that's a nice fluid stream right there. Now you don't need that much fluid to cut because that splashes it everywhere, makes a bigger mess. So I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more. All you need is enough fluid to keep that blade wet. We don't need it running off the bottom, we just need enough to keep it cool, okay? So we've got fluid, we shut the power off, the fluid stops. When we turn the power on, the pump works. I'm gonna get in here next with my air blower and obviously to really clean this thing up is gonna take longer than we have in this video. But I'm gonna blow this stuff off and clean most of this up. But one more thing I just wanted to show you is to clean this thing with a little bit, simple green, and a rag. Again, this is your equipment. This isn't our equipment. And look at how dirty this is. All it takes is a little bit of spray and a little bit of wipe down. This machine really hasn't been touched in quite a long time, which is too bad. That's why we're making this video. So again, it's all of our jobs to maintain these machines. Not to maintenance them, but to do the preventative maintenance on them. So all it requires is regular maintenance to keep them running true, longer lasting, and better operation. Most importantly, you can spend your time using the machine and not working on the machine.